Hey Braves, Allie Ackley here. I'm going to talk to you about a new resource called Genially and how it can help you in the classroom. I know that our first thought as teachers is, okay, what's the catch? How much does it cost? Well, you're in luck. There are free plans. Now when you see these columns over here, that looks a little scary. Let's go over to education and all of a sudden our numbers get a lot friendlier. Now free will get you everything that you need. I personally did upgrade, but I use this a lot in my classroom and I wanted access to even more features and templates, but you don't have to, you can totally keep it free. Let's go to my panel and I'll show you just a couple ways that I've used this in my classroom. Um, this one is by far the kiddos favorite. It looks really complex. I didn't do anything but upload screenshots of task cards. So right here, um, that's all I did and just uploaded a picture. That's it. But let's go ahead and see what the kids see. So if we go, that kind of kills the experience. I want y'all to see it from the beginning. Womp. Start from the beginning. There you go, so impressive. Start, go to our missions, and we have classic games. And this is the slide that I originally clicked on. Now, if a student gets it correct, the game moves forward. If a student gets it incorrect, it's like, oh no, you lose. So here, they lost. Now, with a typical PowerPoint, you are responsible for creating the hyperlinks, not to mention all the crazy cool graphics, sounds, etc. Uh, Genially has done all that for you. You don't have to do any hyperlinking. Literally, all I did was upload screenshots right here. That was it. I can replace it with different screenshots if I want to. Um, there's animation involved and interactivity if I want. It is what you make it. So go big, don't go home. Uh, let's take a look at one other that my kids really liked. It's the imposter game. I'm sure we've all heard of Among Us, imposter, etc. Okay, and we'll preview it. Again, I made none of this. I just typed in questions and answers. So all of a sudden I have place value in here. Okay, and you would progress through a few series of questions. Uh, again, if you get it wrong, there you go. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and look at creating one. So we'll create a Genially, and right now we're interested in the gamification. All right, um, I don't know what sticks out to you. There's a lot that you can uh, go through here. There you go. This is a breakout room, not a room, but a breakout. So. We click start, you can preview it. This is what the students would see. We'll use this template. Okay, obviously you can edit this text. This is just the default text that you'll see. Um, maybe you're doing breakout star prep. I'll let you know. And Spark's already there. Okay, Genially Land. Could do Star Prepville. I don't know. <laughs> okay, Shoot the Clown. Oh, that's got such a, a connotation to it. Let's go ahead and call it like Dunk the Clown. That's a little better. Answer correctly and throw the clown into the water five times to earn your reward. Sounds simple enough. Okay, so the first question out of five. So this is where you could type your question. Uh, maybe it's, Bob has 16 candies, Laura has 13. What is the difference in the candies? And if you have second and third graders, you might wanna re, uh, reiterate the definition of difference and how it means subtraction. 
Um, so wrong answer, wrong answer, right answer. This is again where Genially has done all the work for you. Uh, you will input the wrong answer in these cells and the right answer in this cell. Uh, the reason for that is because it's already hyperlinked to go to the correct slide. For example, if they get it right, so if they click on this box in the game, it will take them to right, and then you can edit your message here. Or if they get it wrong, I'm sure there's another one down here. Ha uh ha, -huh, try again. Okay, something like that. Um, so there's a lot of ways you can do it. This one has uh, images already input for you. You can just replace it. Um, it does use Jiffy if you want. You don't have to. Obviously, for this, it wouldn't really work out. Um, you can upload from your computer, insert a URL, uh, insert an image from your Google Drive or Dropbox. So a lot of options. This is the incorrect answer. This is the correct answer. All right. And then when you're done, you have a really fun game that your kids can play. So when you're done, you'd say, all set. Uh, I like to keep mine private. And that is part of that upgradable feature. You don't have to. You can keep it free and then it's public online. Um, and then you'll say, OK, all set, share. And I post the link right here in their Canvas. And that is how all my students access it. So um, that is one way to gamify your content. And then I also want to show you choice boards. Um, I know a few years ago they were super popular and since then it's kind of been up and down with choice boards but i do really like them um, choice board. this one's my favorite so it reminds me of thing link if you've ever used that uh, with just kind of these interactive buttons right here um, and you can do it with any image. I had a clip art image and I just put a whole bunch of uh, little icons, these clickable icons on each of the snowflakes. And so each snowflake was, in fact, a question. Um, but this is something that the kiddos can use, use this template. And so maybe their, um, their most recent benchmark has shown you nine standards that need to be rehashed. Okay, well, this one could be, you know, 3.4a, this one is 3.8b, et cetera. And so students can go, if you print off the feedback cards from School City, students can go to the standards that they need. They'll click it, and it will take them to maybe there's information. You can add stuff. Uh, all you have to do is click interactivity, and you can link a page. Maybe there's a web page. Um, Maybe it was an assignment that was really good in Canvas that you posted. You can post the direct link to that Canvas page. Um, so there are a lot of ways. It's just, this is a jumping off place. This is just to springboard them to get the information that they need. So um, I know I've thrown a lot at you, but this really is a great resource. Let me know uh, any questions or comments that you have. I'll be happy to help you create one. Um, other than that, happy creating.